What's up everybody, Caitlin with Gravel here and today we are at the airport and we are taking the Apple Vision Pro where? On an airplane. <laughs> We're gonna do it. 30,000 feet, let's go. Did you find the quantum oh. realm? Whoa, <laughs> I just walked through my text messages. Pretty sick. It's pretty low lighting, it's like 7 a.m. right now in the airport, but everybody more than like five feet away from me when I move my head like this, super blurry. While we're filming this video, it's February 3rd, we have yet to see any videos of people actually take these on airplanes, but we've heard a lot of the initial reviewers say that that's one of the things they're most excited to do with these, you know, VR headset, goggles, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, today, we're gonna make sure that that actually happens. All right, walking around in this thing, not ideal. <laughs> It's a little jiggly. Really? Like it's really? Yeah, every, like the, all your vision is like whoa, 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 whoa. The menu gets further away. That's so interesting. So if you're trying to stop screen recording while you're on like a moving object, it won't let you. I wonder how that's gonna be in cars and airplanes. I'm sure airplanes is gonna be fine. Oh, well there but... is travel mode. So I wonder if travel mode makes a difference oh, for that. Oh, interesting. So, so the problem is I just walked, whoa. <laughs> I just walked through my text messages. Oh. <laughs> it didn't move with me. I just ran into it. Absolutely. So I look up to grab the menu. I pull it down and then it goes warm over there. Oh, I see. Okay. So let's see. What about Same, if you put an I just, app? I just pulled up the menu and then I ran into it immediately. Oh, wow. So it's so, like really not meant for walking. Yeah, not. Maybe. Oh, okay. So I just pinched. I pinched the window. Are you pulling it with and you? And I'm holding it in front of me right now. Okay, that makes sense. Here, I'm gonna try pulling up YouTube and see if I can watch a YouTube video while I'm walking. Right there, and YouTube is right there. I can't <laughs> tell because it's the back of the window, but I'm gonna go back over here. And look when you leave your apps across the room and you have to go get them. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. It, I just left them over here. Here, I'll exit out of them. Here, I'm gonna watch Let's go full screen on YouTube. All right. So now I'm just watching YouTube as we walk. As you drag it? Yeah. So I just, you literally have to look at the bottom. You have to pinch the bottom bar, and then you have to drag it so with that, you if you want to be able to use Windows while walking. This is spatial computing hacking 101. <laughs> but I'm but glad it, we figured it out. It kind of feels like this is, like, it doesn't feel glitchy. It's really smooth with wow. it being in front of me. But it's so it obviously like, a hassle to be able to have to hold it the entire time. I mean, yeah, but you are true. just walking, so. My fingers are cramping up already. <laughs> We're trying to play Fruit Ninja. Yeah, it's behind me. It's loading. It's at 36%. I don't know if this game is going to work in here. The purple fruits. Oh, oh, it worked. I had to come all to the back side of it. <laughs> that seems dangerous because it's in the middle of a seat. Whoa. Whoa, there's a whole dimension over here. Did you find the quantum oh. realm? Mm -hmm. Oh, a pig is on the ground right here right now. It is interesting because when you're inside, you feel like you have to like narrate what's happening for outside people. True. Oh. In the air right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just my photo like, I was gonna find a good video to watch, was That's my plan. Disorienting, like when you're walking and using that at the same time? It is in here because it's low light, so it's a little shaky. Okay. Uh, so it's a little bit blurry, but it's fine. So like the it's more not. Light, the better. Yeah, yeah, so like if you were outside, or if you're just, like if it was just daytime and actually brighter in here, oh, it'd probably be a lot better. So do you feel like, Lance, you would use this on a layover if you were like actually stuck here for like a long time? For sure. As long as I had some media downloaded on it right now. Or I guess good Wi-Fi for like YouTube or something. Totally. Oh, and also this is our channel. You should like and subscribe. We do like tech travel content, pretty fun. You've probably seen these massive cases all about. It's pretty cool, but it's also like absurdly large. So this is definitely not gonna go inside of your backpack. But once you go to put them away, this is kind of the best way to do it. And then obviously you wanna make sure that you unhook your battery because that is your off switch so to turn them off you need to do that and then we just have our different straps and stuff in here 
and then you have this little accessory pouch that came with it. So we just kind of throw everything extra in there. And then, super fun, they actually made this fun little like area for your battery, which is weirdly the size of like the first iPhone. And then we just throw this in here and you're good to close it up, zip and go. And something that's cool is this top handle is retractable by weight. So basically once it's full of stuff, you get the handle, but if you let go of it, it just pretty fun. So this is what you need to expect to carry with you if you're trying to take this with you internationally or domestically, whatever, on an airplane. She's out of here. Seems what we're, oh, oh somebody's here. <laughs> What's up, like, dude? This is crazy guy. I know, I serious. You're like, I think I recognize those teeth, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Good. We're, uh, we just bought these and we're doing a YouTube video on them. Sick, dude. All righty, the goal is to set up my persona with my beanie on. There's also this strange outline around your hands. Maybe I should record this process. Oh, this is crazy Align looking. Your entire face. Vision pro back a little. It's not going any further, I don't think. Vision pro back a little. You need to have longer Move arms, vision Lance. Pro back a little. Move vision pro up a little. Close your eyes for a moment. My shoulders vision are burning. Continue. All right, so far it worked wearing a beanie. So that's fun. Let's see how it looks. If you look like you, redhead. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope I look like an Oompa Loompa. Oh, wait, I can see your eyes. Oh, really? Yeah, and they look horrible. <laughs> <laughs> rude, dude. That's super Wait, look rude. at me. Whoa, my persona does not look good. <laughs> yeah, it literally gave me two different colored eyes. You guys, I can't emphasize uh... how bad eyesight looks. <laughs> like, look at this. It, well, in their defense, my eyes in my persona are wonky. It seems like eyesight is definitely half-baked, which is not new information. If you've seen any videos on the Apple Vision Pro, you know that people are saying, what? The ad looks far superior than real life. I mean, we'll do a side-by-side -side of Lance's eyes and then the ad girl. <laughs> She's looking great. Lance's eyes are looking a little scary. <laughs> I can't click cancel on the optic ID. So I can't do the dots thing. It won't let you reset you, it. I think if you put it on and you just click cancel for me, cause it can't see. So a common question is if you can really share these because guest mode is a thing, but when you put them on your head, either you have to deal with a passcode, optic ID, which is set to the actual real full-time user. And then you have to go through a series of resetting your eyes and hands, which you do by clicking this button one, two, three, four times and then in front of you will prompt the setup to basically recognize your hands, which you stick them out like this, then you go like this, and then you go through the process of looking at like about six dots and clicking each one. So it's pretty quick, but it's not ideal. Like this is definitely not made for more than one full-time user. This is definitely the face that you feel like inclined to do while you're looking at everything. It's like the focus face, you know, you just completely like black out. <laughs> There is definitely a heightened sense of people staring and just thinking we can't see them when the goggles are on our heads, but you have passed through, so you absolutely can see them staring at you. And just like people will like walk slowly around you because they're, I think they're afraid you're going to run into them or something. We're going to go get on. All right. Are you ready to bring the goggles? So ready. Onto an airplane? So ready. <laughs> Alrighty, boarding the plane officially. Hello, good morning. Thank you. We're in 30 or something? 20. 20. Just so that people know. This is actually a personal item. So if you're planning on to bring a personal item, don't. We're good. It's auto filling now, so that's nice. Oh. Oh, it's just water. I'll do water and the cookies, yeah, would be great. Thank you. I'm trying to open my cookies and it's clicking a bunch of stuff on the screen right now. <laughs> oh. Let's see, I just went full screen on YouTube. All right, let's try out editing on this flight. Let's go. 
hard drive. So now I gotta go up to the menu. Alrighty, so it's this one. The screen is black, boom. I'm here. Wow. So I move this a lot closer to me which honestly, this is probably, maybe not quite this close, but this is probably how I'd edit because you can see a lot more detail on the screen. But then if I'm like wanting to watch it, I can actually throw it pretty far away, which is rad. <laughs> People really are gonna hate my desktop. Oh, come on, go full screen. Pretty sick. Putting the screen like over there, like if you wanted it to be like, yeah, it's legit like a hundred inch or 120 inch screen right there, taking up like all the rows. That's pretty sick. Uh, should I go into another dimension right now? So say I want to edit right here, but I'm kind of sick of seeing all this stuff. Just twist this little dial. And now I, I can't see my computer, but I'm just in the desert right now. I can't see anything. I can see, so you light up, you come through it a little bit. And so does that guy over there. <laughs> cool. Let's go read a book. It's going to read now. First lie wins. So the hard thing is I click it and there's not really any haptic feedback or anything to let me know that I clicked it, but it's loading. So then I click it a few times thinking like, I don't know, uh, it's kind of annoying. Nothing vibrates on your face or anything? Yeah, nothing, yeah. It starts with the little things. An extra toothbrush in the glass holder next to the sink. I was like reading it, like is it's, the quality good? Yeah, it's fine. It just keeps selecting it for some reason, even though I wasn't clicking. It's pretty huge. So, so would you prefer that over a real book? No. So it's huge and it keeps selecting everything, which is really annoying. I think most people, a Kindle or an actual book would be a lot better, I think. Yeah. Overall head fatigue, I'm not feeling it at all. Maybe it's because I'm distracted on an airplane, but I feel like I could do this for a long time, even with this headset, which is a worse headset, but I've had it on for what, 40, 40 minutes or something right yeah, now? Yeah, a while. But I feel, I feel totally fine. I'm gonna try taking notes. Maybe I have a good thought, or maybe I'm writing a book while on the airplane. All right, so the keyboard is massive right now. It's like clear up here, but I see if I can move it a little bit closer. Could you type on the keyboard like it's a real yeah. keyboard? Because I've seen in videos they do that too, right? that you have to do pointer fingers. I this think it is the only pointer. is a really, really cool. So it's fine. I think I would prefer just looking and tapping on the airplane. There's no haptic feedback, so it's kind of annoying. I need to stop eating this cookie. It's delicious though. It's way up there for some reason. <laughs> All the text, the butterfly is like about to, oh, here it comes. Oh, is this butterfly gonna land on me right now? Wow, this is incredible, actually. There's just a butterfly flying around right now. All right, that's freaking cool. The little dinosaur fell off a rock, but now there's a big dinosaur trying to eat it. So just now, we used this the whole time. So I never took it off and they never told me to put away because they don't know it's a computer. So that's also a benefit. You can just keep editing forever. I guess my tray table had to go up, but. <laughs> it's so goofy just wearing this thing around everywhere, but. Literally, what were they, were they all staring at you so much? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> I got this weird thing on my face. <laughs> Some final thoughts for you guys after we just flew using the Apple Vision Pro goggles and headset, whatever you want to call it. I mean, overall, it seems for the price point, especially in the light of travel, which is what we're all about, travel tech, it is way too expensive for what you're getting. <laughs> yeah. If it was like 1500 bucks, I think I would suggest it to people, but we paid like $4,200 plus Apple Care, so we paid like $4,700 for this setup. For what? For to edit on a bigger, slightly bigger screen. I'm and you can go <laughs> limitless pretty much with the space. That, yeah. that was one of the things that obviously everyone was wondering about is editing on your MacBook on the Vision Pro so that you can extend the screen to be as big as you want it to be. It is an awesome experience. The connection is totally you know, seamless. That workflow is really cool. But 
to pay so much money for an external screen that you're gonna use for you know, a few hours. Maybe your flight is five hours. Maybe your flight is 16 hours. Even on a 16 hour flight, I've edited videos you know, on my 14 inch MacBook Pro or 16 inch MacBook Pro and I was totally productive. So it's debatable. If you got a bunch of extra cash, it is really fun. <laughs> I really did love seeing the butterfly fly around the airplane cabin. That was probably the highlight of the entire experience. You definitely so, seem the most stoked about that. So fun. So the dinosaur one was fun, but unless you have a bunch of extra cash to blow, I would say probably wait for version two when there's a lot more cool things happening. I will say there was some really impressive features, which is looking at where basically your eyes or your cursor and using your hands to select. That is actually yeah, really cool. seamless, a lot more seamless than I thought it was pass through is really fun just being able to see the world like through that screen is just trippy but also like not weird at the same time it feels natural i mean it's what you're seeing right now <laughs> i was just thinking maybe i should take this thing <laughs> off no it's, it's a part of this is actually who he is wow, now is this Pro. is <laughs> this is life <laughs> yes overall i i experienced zero fatigue as well yeah although you can't wear them with beanies yeah, that's actually annoying. Which is sad, you know, because you want to be a beanie wear, that's you know. True. Teeny weeny beanie. Teeny weeny beanie. With all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We had a total blast making it, just running around the airport, being silly and filming with some new tech. I'm really stoked to see what Apple comes out with to develop the features more and just make this product more usable. But comment below because we want to hear what you guys have to say about that and what you're looking for and what you thought from seeing our experience. Uh, this channel, if you want to subscribe to it, is a travel tech channel. We cover a bunch of stuff. Uh, we also make some fun products for the community too, so some travel blankets and stuff, which is really fun. But uh, hit the like and subscribe, all those fun YouTube-y things, and uh, it has been fun. We'll see you on the next one. Peace! <laughs>